Hey guys, this is Jid with Dollars Jamming, and today we're going to be looking at the Dreadbox White Line, which is a series of affordable modules made out of glass epoxy. In this episode, we're going to look at seven modules, four of them being the essentials you need to make a synth voice. We have an oscillator that features a triangle, saw, and square wave, as well as a pulse width modulation input. To the left is our CV, or 1V per octave input, and a sync input. The White Line filter is the same filter you'd find on the Erebus. The input is to the left, and we get a high-pass filter and a low-pass filter output. We also get CV for the cutoff and resonance. The echo is a digital delay. To the left is our input, CV for time, and our output. The envelope is what would be labeled as ADSR on your regular synthesizers. To the left is our gate input, negative output, attenuated bipolar output, and a positive output. There's a switch for the overall envelope rate. S means slow and F means fast. The VCA is a dual VCA, which means it can handle two sound sources at once. The top row controls VCA A and the bottom controls VCA B. We have our input, CV inputs, and output. The phaser is an effect module that also features an LFO. We can choose if we want a triangle or square LFO, and there's a switch to choose between two stages and four stages. To the bottom left is our input, our triangle and square LFO outputs, a CV input for the phase shift, and our output. And last but not least, the random module that can rise and fall the voltages controlled with the sliders. A clock rate, as well as a clock output, to the left is a white noise output, gate output, a sample and hold input, clock input, sample and hold output, lag input, and lag output. So I'm gonna plug the oscillator straight into my mixer. Our top knob controls our tune, and our bottom knob controls our fine tune. Now I'm gonna send pitch into the CV input. Let's turn the pitch down a bit so our ears don't bleed. Modular can be a bit intimidating, but we're basically making all the connections that are inside of your synth outside of it. I'm going to unplug my mixer and get a shorted cable, and run that same saw wave into the filter. Then I'll plug the low pass output of the filter into my mixer. Let's try the high pass filter. Now I'm going to unplug my mixer again and make another connection out of the filter into the echo delay out of the delay into my mixer. Now I'm going to use my sequencer to send the gate into the envelope. out of the envelope into the VCA CV input. Out of the echo into the VCA. Now we have control over our attack, decay, sustain, and release. Let's change up our melody a bit. And there you have it, a synth voice with the addition of a delay. Now let's check out the phaser.
let's listen to the square wave LFO. Let's see how the triangle LFO sounds. So let's send some modulation to these modules. Maybe not to the echo. I really wish the CV on the echo controlled something else besides time, like feedback or mix. Now let's check out the random. I'm going to plug its output directly into my mixer. Let's listen to the white noise. So those are some of the modules in the white line series. If you're considering starting a Eurorack synthesizer, this might be a great way for you to start without breaking the bank. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and support our sister on Patreon for more tutorials and reviews. Catch you guys later.